Many artists, writers and creatives spend most of their time writing, creating, building or coming up with new things, but the idea of marketing scares them. They end up having incredible content the world never appreciates because it doesn't get to know about it. If you are a creative person or hope to be one, this could be the wake-up call you need. Welcome to Nurtured by Books, a community where young entrepreneurs find ideas from books that make businesses successful. If you are new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on insightful content like this. In this video we are looking at 10 ways to share your creativity and get discovered from Show Your Work by Austin Kleon. Number 1. Do not seek to be a genius, but a genius instead. This means that you have to associate with people who are doing the same things as you are. For example, if you are a writer, associate with writers. If you are an artist, associate with artists with whom you can share ideas and exchange thoughts. The internet has made this easier. You can find anyone and everyone online today. You do not have to be a genius to create, you just have to start. Number 2. The second step is to be an amateur. Learning is a lifetime process and with today's fast-moving world, what matters is not what you know, but how fast you can learn. If you find yourself growing complacent or still, learn something new. Be comfortable with producing mediocre work. It's better than producing nothing and we get better with increments. There is a saying that if you make one pot of clay every day for 30 days, you will end up with a better pot on the 30th day than someone who made one pot for 30 days. Number 3. Think process, not products. When a normal artist says, let me show you my work, they mean two things. The final product or the process involved in the making. Fellow humans like seeing how the product was made, especially in today's world. Become a documentarian, take photos and share bits and scraps. You will eventually attract people who are actually interested in the thing that you are building, instead of just the final product. Post photos in various stages of your production or just snippets of your journey as you go. Number 4. Share something small every day. The form of it does not matter. A picture, a video, a tweet, it can be anything really. The point is to create momentum, to start a process that creates engagement. Eventually you end up having lots of posts and from them you can get ideas that build into something. For example, the book showing your work started as a tweet which became blog posts and eventually turned into a book. Trust in the power of compound interest if you share something every day. At the end of the year you'll have 365 different forms of ideas. You can create something out of them. Number 5. Open your cabinet of curiosities. As a creator and an artist, we get inspiration from so many things. We collect our ideas from all over the place. It could be books, music, a personality or even nature. Sometimes we're tempted to keep all these sources to ourselves, but if we can learn to share the sources and to credit to people who help us create, it opens us up and allows the people we are sharing with to learn something more about us and the people who inspire us. Always remember to give credit to those people. Mention them, tag them in a post. Share with your audience about what makes you, you. Number 6. Learn how to tell stories. Many creators say, my work speaks for itself, but the truth is, our work doesn't speak for itself. Human beings want to know where things came from, how they were made and who made them. The stories you tell about the work you do have a huge effect on how people feel and what they understand about your work. And how people feel and what they understand about your work affects how they value your product. Tell your story and you just might find yourself with the right kind of people who genuinely like what you do. Number 7. Teach what you know when you learn something. Turn right around and teach it. We become better through repetition rather than through knowing what needs to be done. Most people prefer keeping their knowledge secret, maybe in fear of competition. Because what? Knowledge is useless unless applied. So teach. Because it doesn't create competition, it creates a loyal fan base. By teaching, you are helping yourself understand your craft even better because you have to fully grasp what you are doing before teaching it to others. Number 8. 
don't turn into human spam. Stop worrying about how many people follow you online and start worrying about the quality of people who follow you. If you want fans, you have to be a fan. Share other people's work, be a connector. If you want to get, you have to give. Don't be creepy, make stuff you love and talk about stuff you love and you'll attract people who love that kind of stuff. It's that simple. Number 9. Learn to take a punch. The minute you put your work out there, you are opening yourself up to criticism and people's opinions that might be bad, ugly or good. If you don't know how to take a punch, the ugly comments will get to you. So brace yourself as you post, as you show your work, and learn to ignore the people who will be there to discourage you. Number 10. Sell out. An artist has to eat, so don't be afraid of asking people to buy your products or donate or contribute in one way or another. Keep a mailing list. This keeps you in touch with the people who are interested in your product. Stick around. Don't quit your show. Many people stop after the first song or after the first book. But the trick is to move forward. Your last work, good or bad, does not determine your next. Disney makes money to make more movies. Always keep your eyes focused on the next project. Keep producing, keep sharing, keep going. Create a chain smoke for production. Always have work in progress. As a reward for those who have watched this far, we got a bonus strategy for you. Recharge, go away so you can come back and start fresh. Take your breaks when you need them. Restart certain works in progress to stimulate your mind and fuel your creativity. Showing your work does not have to be tedious. Since you use social media anyway, you post photos and share about your day, why not do the same with your work? After all, you did not create it to remain private. Thank you so much for watching our videos. If you have found this one valuable, give it a thumbs up and share it with people you think it may help. Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on interesting content like this. Turn on the notification bell to be the first to know when we upload a new video. Check on your screen, we have handpicked two more videos for you to enjoy next. See you in the next video.